All right. So in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 3 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 36 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And notice that for multiplication, I can switch the places of these two numbers. So this is the same thing as a to the power of n times n, right? Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, and this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times n, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of n. Meaning, all four of these are equal to each other. So my point for telling you all of this is that a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So now coming back over here, we have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 36 to the power of 3. And we can think of x to the power of 3 here as m and 3 as n. So now I can switch the places of these two. So now I get x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. And this is equal to 36 to the power of 3. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite 36 as 6 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. And again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 times 3. And 2 times 3, that's equal to 6. So I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x to the power of 3 is equal to 6. And now if I take the cube root on both sides, I get x is equal to the cube root of 6.